It's Mr. Russell Kane. <laughs> hey, Russell. God, I haven't been out for so long, I needed that to hear the music. <laughs> so it's so good to see human beings again. Ooh. Look at that. that, that is a metaphor for British comedy right there. <laughs> That's the spirit of Covid, ladies and gentlemen, look at it. On the floor, Britain will bounce back. There's a metaphor for Boris, we don't care. We can cope in Britain, you can't even stick a fucking lighting strip to a wall, Boris. <laughs> yeah. I think we should leave it there, fuck it. Do you know what phrase pisses me off? I hope I don't hear it for much longer. New normal, do one, yeah? <laughs> the new normal can fuck off. Yeah? No, it's a new normal, get used to it. It's not the new, it's the normal, whilst this pesky virus is going around. Then we'll go back to what we all thought, no, it's gonna be like this forever. Will it fuck? <laughs> the, first, the first weekend after the virus has gone, saying, book on my chest, light it, piss the flames out. Touch my face, Gary, <laughs> <Legend>. <laughs> Have you noticed, the people who seem to enjoy the idea it might be the new normal. Those bell ends, it's the new normal. Get you, my Uncle Darren, get used to it. It's the new normal, happy about it. Staying in, no friends. That was you before, Uncle Darren, you miserable twat. That's why he's happy about it. <laughs> new normal, no cut. You were knocking one out into a biryani cart and after your wife left you anyway. <laughs> Nothing's changed for you. It's the new normal, get used to it, I'm knocking one out. You could be sat there and vaguely know these people next to you. You can't hug them tonight. That's not normal. I want to be able to go, mate, what's the time? Touch someone on the shoulder without him knocking me out and spraying me with disinfectant. We've got a shoulder toucher. Take him to the cells. <laughs> you want that to be normal? Single people, what are you going to do? What's going to happen to single lads when they're out on the pool? The poor bar, you should have seen, you should have seen this dirty bastard tonight. You should have seen Gary. What did he do? Some bird. He'd been talking to her. Ten minutes tops. Took her back to his, shook her hand. I'm not even joking. You did not, dirty fuck. I did. Shook this girl's hand, <laughs> palm to palm contact on the first night. Dirty cow. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you use a glove? No, I went bareback. No glove. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the new normal. It was really funny at the beginning, like we all felt sorry. Poor single people, imagine being locked down alone, Jonathan. Imagine that. It must be so lonely. And then about two months in, you're like, imagine being locked down on your own, wouldn't it be fucking great? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for everyone portraying their perfect lives when they were locked in their houses, screw you. 99.9... of us do not have perfect lives. I don't... Look at my abs. They're listening while my daughter does her yoga and French verbs. Right? <laughs> I'm eating Monster Munch and crying at the top of the stairs at half seven. <laughs> trying to wait for the house to be empty so I can have my third masturbation of the day. <laughs> Please look at my baby. What are you doing putting your kids online? Please look at my baby. My baby's being born. Crowning. Profile pic. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you're a nutritionist or an exercise professional or you're a DJ, you put your shit online. We come to you for your expertise. We want to see what you do. I put stand-up online. If you're not and you've got a perfect body, we don't want to see it. News slash keep you... And I said this, I was on, on some radio thing, and I got a complaint. What, why so cynical? Why so cynical from one of the Russells, not clear which one? Why so cynical? <laughs> When I put my perfect life onto the internet, I'm putting a bit of happiness in the world. And during COVID-19, it's been important that people look at me and see my kids dancing and they get a bit of happiness and feel better. Really? Can we find one person in this room who was uplifted by someone having a better freaking time than them while we were locked in our houses, not doing sit-ups? <laughs> It doesn't make sense. If I broke both my legs on a skiing holiday and I was sat in a wheelchair in the pub, would you come over to me and start tap dancing? I just want you to know how good it's going to be. This is how good your legs might be. I'm just trying to uplift you by tap dancing around your shattered femur. Do you feel better? Not really. Uppercut. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The magnificent Russell Kane, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh,